Hi guys, it's Danny from JNS Motorcycles in Northwich and today I'm going to take you through the handlebar mount from Quadlock. So here we have the Quadlock handlebar mount out of its box. I'll just run you through what the little bits you get with it. So you get the actual lever mount itself, you get the rings, you got one fitted in the actual handlebar mount itself. Uh, you got a little extension arm as well for wherever you want the phone to sit on your bike. You've got the Allen key as well to help you fit it. You've also got this uh, vibration dampener, which is sold separately. So basically that just takes all the little vibrations out of the handlebars and the bike. So it just keeps your phone camera safe. And I've also got the MagSafe case here as well. Uh, in which case this is for an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it's a MagSafe version. So now I'm just going to run you through how to fit the handlebar mount to our rental handlebars here. So first what you need to do, out of the box, you need to undo this little bolt here on the extension arm. Then that can rotate, it's just on little teeth as well. So you've got 360 degrees of uh, motion of where you want it to sit. And then for this one, there's another little Allen key here. Again, undo this one, just so you can get the clamp open and get this little spacer out. You've got three separate little spacers. For these handlebars in particular, we're gonna use the 22 mil spacer. So what we're gonna do first is fit the spacers to the handlebar first, just like that. And then for that, we're just going to clamp round just so that we can get the Allen key in place. That will then start to grip. So there you go, so that's gripping now. Now with this arm, you can take it off if you don't need it, but basically you can move it to wherever you want the, the actual handlebar mount to sit. Once you've got it in your desired position, just tighten it in place. There you go, that's not going anywhere. So the next step we need to do for the vibration dampener, we just need to pop that on top. Again, it's got the few little splines on there. Put it wherever you want it. The Allen key is long enough to go down into the bolt and just screw it in place. Get that nice and tight so it doesn't come loose. Also, just to remember, the vibration dampener is sold separately. So the next thing to do, what we've got is the actual arm itself. This is what you're gonna to use to put the phone mount on and off the actual handlebar itself. So again, put that in place. What I like to do is just hold the arm down a little bit just so it takes the tension off the bolt. So now I've got the arm bolted onto the vibration dampener and on the actual mount itself. I must add these as well, you can put them in four different directions, depending on how you want to take your phone on and off the handlebar mount itself. So you can take this apart and move the blue arm around. So there we go, so that's all fitted, nice and sturdy, ready for your ride. So now you've got your handlebar mount fitted, we're gonna put your phone in your phone case. So it's dead simple, find the corners and push it in. They are a little bit tight, but there you go. Nice and simple, nice and tight. So now I'm gonna just demonstrate how to fit the, the phone to the handlebars. So basically all we need to do, if we see we've got four little notches on here, and these little notches are on the back of the phone case as well. So all we need to do is find the diagonal and it'll just slot right on and then you'll hear it click. There you go, that's on, nice and secure, not gonna come off at all. So to take it off, the little blue arm here, push that down, just rotate the phone off. Dead simple, just explains itself really. So when you've fitted your quad lock handlebar mount, if you're not happy with where it's positioned, just remember you've got your little Allen key and you can adjust everything. So the little bolt on top there, 
you've got the little arm, you've also got a little bolt for the vibration dampener that goes into the arm as well, and you've also got the actual pinch bolt, so you can move it wherever you want, turn it wherever you want, just like that. And once you've got it set where you want it, just tighten it back down with the Allen key, and away you go. So I would like to mention as well that there is two versions of the handlebar mount from Quadlock. So you've got the, the standard mount that were fitted to these handlebars here, uh, and then they also do the pro version. So basically all that means is that it's, it's just a blacked out look. Uh, you get an extra ring as well for the uh, slightly thicker bars, mainly on cruisers and stuff like that. But the biggest difference is, is that it is made out of aluminium. So it's gonna wear a little bit better, it's gonna last longer. Also, it does have a slight difference in the rings to go on your handlebars. As with this one, it has a couple of little notches just to locate the, uh, the clamp itself onto the handlebars. Also, just one last thing I would like to add. Quadlock themselves do make a fork stem mount if you're one of these people that have got these super sport bikes, fire blades, anything like that. So basically all that is just a little bit that goes into the fork stem, just opens up. Again, two different versions as well. You've got the standard plastic version, the standard version. We've also got the pro version as well. Again, it's made out of aluminium. And with the pro fork stem mount, they have another version of the grippers that expand into the fork stem. Uh, one slightly smaller, one slightly bigger, depending on which one caters for your bike. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and always like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.